Yo, not everyone makes it out of Chicago. I was shot at, my friends were shot at, and I had family who were shot too. It was scary. I did what I had to do and I got up out of there. But I'm doing this for everyone back there. I want to show everybody what a kid from the city can accomplish. That's why I'm in the gym every morning. That's why I work out three times a day. And that's why I study the game. It's on me to show off for everyone back home. And that's what I'm going to do. Yo, it's Khalil Whitney. 6 a.m., about to get a workout in. Let's get it. First thing I do in the gym is, is, is mandatory. I set up my little boom box, put it, plug the ox up to my phone, like, put in the tunes. seventh grade year when I started. Uh, I wasn't very good at basketball. Uh, probably the average kid, you know, just walking around the house, you know, shooting imaginary jumps and saying I want to be like MJ. It's my favorite player of all time. Uh, so just looking at the other players at that moment, uh, they were very, you know, they were very talented, way more talented than I was. And uh, that just motivated me. A certain amount of guys are gonna take this, you know, treat like a professional. I want to make a lot of money at this game one day. So I work real hard at it. Hopefully I'm successful. Workout number one in the books. Gotta get to class. First period, I got religion. Got two more. Let's get it. My dad was a, a good basketball player at uh, Season Hall, so I used to always, you know, go to his games and watch him play. And uh, I pretty much had in the back of my head that I wanted to play basketball, but I never really told nobody. I do think I'm underrated because of my game, put like this. Because everybody doesn't see all the flashiness, the crossovers with me. But I put numbers up. Uh, I put I put big numbers up. And that's why I am the number one small four in the country. Uh, I dunk on you, you scream in your face. Um, but I just don't get enough recognition. I know John Calipari, Coach Calipari, he's seen a lot in me. And uh, me and him, we grew a great relationship. And uh, I committed on my visit. So I'm getting to play at the biggest stage. Everybody gonna come from me, I come from Kentucky, come from my teammates, every game. Yo, this came out of the last class of the day. On my way to grab some eats with the teammates. Time to get that second workout in. Chicken spot? Park around. We don't we, we only go there during the season. I just try to find a, a, a spot. So all I eat is chicken. Chicken, chicken. Chicken on chicken. Anything on me, I need uh my boy here want a three-piece mix. I want a five-piece. He want a three-piece. My boy back there, he not hungry. And you want a what? I hope y'all got money, because I'm not paying for it. We got some good food, we about to eat, amen. A lot of people don't know that I'm from Chicago. Uh, ever since I moved, everybody think that is, is, that's where this is where I'm from. Nah, I'm from, I'm from the hood. Uh, I'm from, I done seen people get killed, I done came outside, I done seen I seen bodies outside. I, I'd have been in situations where I got shot at, jumped, all type of stuff. I had one of my uh, one of my, my teammates and one of my, my friends named Evander. He he got shot at a, at a party. There's nothing positive you get from the streets. It's, it's all negativity. The first thing I, I think of when I hear a gunshot is normal. That's life. That's that's how it is in Chicago. Hey yo, my boy, the chicken was smacking. We just got done eating with the guys and my teammates. I had to get them right. About to go work out now. Growing up in Chicago is not um, it's not the, the best place to grow up, but you know, it's a tough neighborhood, it's a tough environment where we grew up at. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like I, I didn't I didn't need my child to grow up in uh, the environment that I worked so hard to get out of, to give them a ride for my family, to give them an opportunity to live better. So I think it worked out. Uh, it was multiple times where I tried to sneak out and go play basketball because I had a love for the game. And uh, you know, I got screamed at because I mean, that's a life and death situation. Anything, somebody can come, feel me, drive by, and it's a different type of toughness. But I, I think I handled myself pretty well in those type of situations. That's it, tough. My family is a big part of my life. My mom, my dad, they work so hard. I just want to have everybody, my whole, my family around me, uh, not to work for anything. Hopefully, when I sign that check and sign that deal, uh, I can give back to my family. Uh, I want to have a purpose in life. I want to, you know, I want to help other people when I get older. 
I want to inspire the youth of like, you know, from poverty in Chicago. So I got a lot of stuff I want to do uh, to be a positive role model for my people. Go. <sighs> you sure this is big enough for my foot? That's just the real hell. I've seen a lot of pros doing this. I want everybody to see me in that Kentucky blue with my family around me, signing that paper, showing my highlights and showing them that, I mean, there, there is people like me. You can make a change in life. You just gotta work hard and you just gotta dream. The kids are the future. If you instill in those kids that you can, you can be whatever you want in this world and this life of yours, as long as you work hard and make the right choices and, and surround yourself with the, the right group of people, um, then they can be inspired. My guy gets buckets. I'm telling you. Check out these other videos right here and subscribe. Why haven't you done that yet? Click that button. Click that.